you're uh, out and about in town, like maybe eating a hot dog at Costco, and some guy walks up to you and says, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you all about Second Chance Fields. And I said, Second Chance Fields? What is that? Well, Second Chance Fields organization is lending a hand to San Diego High School to help refurbish their sports field. Here to talk more about this one is the founder of Second Chance Fields, the guy who accosted me at Costco, <laughs> Josh Pratchard, and Vice President of Athletics at San Diego High, Denise Montero, and San Diego High School Athletic Director, Jeanette Alvarado. Nice to have you all here. True story, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you came up to I'm eating my $1.50 hot dog with my drink, and you came up to me and told me. And I, actually, I was really quite taken by your pitch, number one, and by the problem. Saying you had a solution to a problem that so many of us don't know what to do about. So tell us a little bit about your, your organization. Yeah, so um, I had played some uh, minor league baseball, uh, ended up getting injured, and uh, was no longer able to continue it. So when I moved to San Diego, I wanted to try to get back to the community, and mm -hmm. I approached Mission Bay High School to help coach their baseball team. And when I was with the team and we were traveling to all the high schools throughout San Diego, it was this, this reoccurring theme that every field we went to was just in horrible condition, holes in the outfield, kids were getting injured all the time. And so I just kind of came up with this idea, like, what can we do to help? Because there's really no, nobody out there that's helping sports in high schools. So, uh, and it's started. an expensive proposition to keep Very. and maintain. Uh, Jeanette, tell me a little bit about the needs at San Diego High. Uh, the needs at San Diego High, uh, the conditions on the field are pretty bad. Um, they're rough. Our students go on the field every day and they see how bad they are. We have uneven fields. Um, our fence is soon going to topple over and we also have our dugouts that our benches are just completely falling apart. But aren't there budgets for this? I mean, to, ma to maintain this stuff? There's budgets, but the district could only do so much, and we can only do so much to maintain these facilities. And why do you think it's important to um, do this? Yeah, we, at, I'm with Hawthorne and Cat, and uh, we uh, found the need to get into the community more. And when Josh came in and I had a very similar situation as you, he kind of came in my office one day, <laughs> gave me the whole spiel. We just wanted to help. I mean, getting in the community, helping kids, giving them something safe to do during school, after school, and having safe parks and for them to play on. It's like it's just so important to us. So, Josh, this is this is really about not just seeing a problem, but actually doing something, and that's what Second Chance Fields is all about. Yes, absolutely. So. Uh, we did our first project back in 2013 at Mission Bay High School. We started off small. We redid the pitcher's mound for Mission Bay. Um, and then from there, you know, once that was done, we got a little media coverage. Uh, some of the other schools caught on. And then our phones just started blowing up with, you know, athletic directors and principals asking us to come and help. And uh, to date now, over the last four years, we've done four projects. This will be our fifth project. And, you know, we've uh, met with um, the athletic director for San Diego High School. We've got about three other fields that are planned for next year to get done at three different high schools. So yeah, we do everything from small little areas to repair to entire field, you know, replacement. Uh, what are you hoping to raise here to, to finish this project? Yeah. Up? So Where this, are you in that fundraising process? So this project, uh, the budget is $90,000 and we've raised about 72000 of wow, that. Wow. So you're almost there. Almost there. So we need uh, about another 18000 to finish this project out and, and to get it done. Um, and it's it's a pretty extensive. We, we're doing a whole new outfield fence because the fence they have currently at San Diego High School is a temporary fence, mm -hmm. and there's nothing holding it up but stakes. So that fence has fallen in on itself on the girls. Uh, we're also going to build them a warning track after we build them their new fence, so that that gives them a little buffer. You know, when they're tracking a foul ball and they're looking up, it's kind of hard to spot that fence. Yeah. That warning track will give a transition from grass to hard packed dirt, let them know, hey, that fence is coming up quick, so we'll avoid wall collisions. And then the biggest thing is, is the dugouts. You know, they have no roofs over the dugouts, the floors are all dirt, and then the benches are completely destroyed. You can see in the picture right there. Um, there's really nowhere for the girls to sit. You know, when they play their fall ball and it's raining, the girls are just standing in the rain. Yeah. And, you know, in the summer when it gets hot, heat exhaustion, you're getting some, you know, heat stroke issues because they have direct sunlight while they're playing in a strenuous sport. So we're going to cover that, uh, that dugout for them to give them shade, give them a concrete slab to stand on so they're not standing in mud anymore, build them new benches so they have something to sit on, and then build them cubbies to put their gear so it's not just going in the mud on the ground. This is exactly yeah. what he told me when I was eating my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> he is a very convincing guy, down. and I appreciate that. <laughs> and the students have to be really grateful yeah. for no, this. Yeah, they're very excited for what's to come.
Yeah. All right, gentlemen, lady, thank you so much for being. I, I, did I just say that, gentlemen and lady? Yes, I just did. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Good luck. And we'll, we'll uh, link your information yeah. to KUSI.com if people want to contribute or help out in any way. Or Thanks. you can just go to our website, too, at uh, www.secondchancefields.org. Or oh, getting a and you can you never donate, <laughs> And you can donate directly to the website as well. <laughs> thank you so much thank for being you. here. Great to have you both all, all here. Happy holidays to you all. You too. Still ahead, the Salvation Army is also collecting toys for its annual toy drive. And that's where Allie is out in East County. Hi, Allie. Hi, you guys. That is right. They are collecting toys. Toys like these ones that we're on. They need more of these, a lot more of these. We'll tell you how you can donate coming up. Good morning, San Diego. We'll be right back. Welcome back. All right. <laughs> the Salvation Army's annual toy drive is underway. So, no, it is not just the red kettles and the bells. No, they no. do a lot more than that. Ellie Wagner's out in East County with more. Hey, Allie. Hi, Allie. Hi, you guys. That's right. We're going to get the band fired up here. Oh, see, there they go. Now, that makes you just want to give toys, doesn't it? The second you hear that, that's what Major George Baker says, right? Well, that's all part of the Christmas spirit right there. Oh, I love it. So, we are looking at, we have a few toys here. This is not going to cover it. <laughs> oh, not even close. We need uh, about 40,000 toys. We're going di to distribute to about 15,000 children over the next uh, few weeks. Wow. So this is every day, all the time. Please come. Please donate. When you go out, you do your Christmas shopping. You drop into some of these stores. Make sure that you're grabbing a toy, an extra toy. Right. You can uh, you know, pick up an extra toy, drop it off at any of our Salvation Army locations around town. Uh, we'll have boxes out that you can uh, put those in or at a massage envy location you can drop off a toy there uh, but throughout the christmas season we'll be collecting it is so important and i know that you guys are always looking is there any age group that you guys are looking for in specific uh, you know two to 12 year olds uh, 14 year olds in some of our locations we help out as well uh, but any any toy for children in those ages and I know that sometimes it's a little bit harder. So keep in mind some of those older kids. They're a little harder to shop for. So something that's nice to give to them. I mean, you've got all kinds of cool skateboards and stuff like that. That's always a good idea. Uh, skateboards are a good idea. Um, you know, basketball, sports equipment. 
uh, tend to go really well with the uh, younger teens. Uh, we also are able to give uh, uh, gift cards so that uh, parents can go and get uh, whatever they feel is best for their child as well. Oh, that is so important to know. And you have a big celebration going on this Sunday as well, right? This Sunday evening at 5 o'clock at our Croc Center. Uh, we have a community concert. It's free. It's open to the public. We'll have the band. The full band will be there. We'll have a choir, a children's choir, a lot of fun activities. And so uh, come and join us. And bring a toy while you come. You Absolutely. can come for free. Check that out. Bring a toy. It would be a wonderful way to kind of kick off the holiday season because that's what it's all about, right? It is. It's the season for giving and for sharing. And so uh, come and share with us and bring a toy. I love that. All right, guys, we're going to send it back over to you. So bring a toy. It's uh, very important. They need 40,000 of them. So when I'm telling you, they need a lot of toys. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a long way to go, and they do such great work here in the community. You know what? That live band really, Allie, gets me in the mood. I know. They're terrific. Maybe not this particular song, but a live band gets me in the mood for a wedding. What? You know? No, because yeah. Miss oh, Allie. Yes. yes, that's right. Because Miss Allie, this is her last day before she goes off to get married. Yes. Is that true? That's right. We we kick we kick off. It's wedding week. It's wedding week. I feel like it should be a wedding crashers. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. We're so excited for you. That is great. We news. are thrilled. We are thrilled. It is really exciting. We can't wait to get things started this weekend and just very small, close family and friends. It should be exciting. I have Believe to, me, I'm sure that pictures will surface. Yes. I have to say that you, that uh, your fiance did a much better job with your ring than Harry did with his ring. Oh my, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that rock, huh? That's a beautiful ring. She, you know, she was, at, she was at an ice skating rink earlier. She yeah. could also skate on that thing, too. Good for you. I appreciate you, Allie. Fantastic. And Trevor, congratulations, oh. you guys. All right. Thanks. May you live in love forever. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> that ring. Now it's gorgeous, right? No, Harry's ring is so small. Carlos, jeez, man. <laughs> it really was. I'm trying to be happy for uh, Allie. Well, Allie, I'm happy for Allie, of course. you got to bring up Harry. Why you got to bring that up? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. All right, let's talk about this. Uh, so we were talking about Salvation Army, collecting toys. Also, Highway Patrol's doing it, too. Yep, Highway Patrol. Chips for kids. Toy drive starts today. Officers are collecting unwrapped toys to give out to local kids in needs. Donation will be collected at the California Pizza Kitchen at the Fashion Valley Mall from 3 to 8 today. But if you can't go to that location, any donation is accepted at any CPK restaurant in our area any Walgreens store or any of the three San Diego County CHP offices. And of course, Liberty Station is a great place to go for the holidays. Uh, they're doing their tree lighting today. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of festivities happening there. The, check, take a look at the tree, 88 foot pine. Boom! Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be lit up tonight uh, at around 5.30. It benefits Rady Children's Hospital. Festivities include a holiday market, mini train rides, live entertainment, and of course, a photo opportunity with Santa. Your little baby can scream as Santa's yes. holding him. <laughs> well, and, what, and honestly, what parent doesn't want the picture of their kid screaming with Santa? I know. Every parent I needs have, that. I photo. have a child who did that, and my, my son who did that also has a child who did that. Of course. <laughs> they all do it. It's, it's a rite of passage. All right, also a tree lighting uh, event happening in La Mesa later today. It's called the La Mesa Shimmer. It'll include hot chocolate bar, food, live music. The event starts at 5 o'clock along La Mesa Boulevard. The lighting ceremony happens at 5.30, free and open to the Lisa, public. Lisa, the all-knowing Lisa Remillard, what is a hot chocolate bar? I've never seen a hot chocolate bar. Yeah, where there's hot chocolate, you go down and you decide what you want to put in your hot chocolate. They like little alcohol? marshmallows. Little, maybe. <laughs> if, I mean, if well, you were of age. Bars I thought maybe it's hot chocolate that's spiked with something well, like, you, you know, could, Tito's I mean, vodka or you, something. A little Bailey's, I <laughs> mean, whatever. <laughs> we'll be right back with the 9 o'clock hour.